Good morning, students. Welcome to today's class. So we have been discussing about chapter nine decimal fractions in that exercise nine C. So let's discuss homework answers first. First question: Multiply the following decimal fraction by ten, hundred, and thousand in that E. Fifty one point eight three five. So fifty one point eight three five into ten, you will get five hundred eighteen point three five. Then fifty one point eight three five into hundred, you will get five thousand one hundred eighty three point five. Next of fifty one point eight three five into thousand, it is fifty one thousand eight hundred thirty five. Then G zero point zero 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 nine into ten, you will get zero point zero zero nine. Then zero point zero 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 nine into hundred, you will get zero point zero nine. Then zero point zero 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 nine into thousand, it is zero point nine. Next H fifteen point zero zero two. Fifteen point zero zero two into ten, it is one fifty point zero two. Fifteen point zero zero two into hundred, it is thousand five hundred point two. Fifteen point zero zero two into thousand, it is fifteen thousand two. Then Second question. Multiply zero point zero 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 seven into hundred. It is zero point zero seven. This is eighth question. Next F first. Three point zero one seven into ten. It is thirty point one seven. G thousand eight point two zero into hundred. It is one lakh eight hundred twenty. H zero point zero three zero nine into thousand. The answer is thirty point nine. Next topic: multiplication by a whole number. So exercise ten D. First question: Find the product. In that A one point eight eight into sixty. So here you need to multiply a decimal fraction by a whole number. Okay. So what to do is. First, find the product of one hundred eighty-eight into sixteen. That is with the one point eight eight without decimal point. You can write the number. That is one hundred eighty-eight. Okay, so one hundred eighty-eight into sixteen. You multiply, you will get three thousand eight. Okay, this is the uh, product of one hundred eighty-eight into sixteen. It is three. Thousand eight, so one point eight eight into sixteen will be in this product. In this product, three thousand eight. Here, after decimal point, count how many digits are there. After decimal point, two digits are there. One, two. So in the product also, after decimal point, two digits. Or two places should be there, so you can count from here one two. So decimal point will come here. Thirty point zero eight is the answer. Here one point eight eight is the multiplicand and sixteen is the multiplier. Okay, so their product here one point eight eight into sixteen their product should have the same number of decimal places. As the multiplicand, okay. Here multiplicand has two decimal places, so in the product, the product also should have two decimal places, okay. Or in a uh, decimal fraction, a whole number which you multiply, Jimbo. First, you can use one point eight eight. Ne point remove either one hundred eighty eight. Ne would come. So one hundred eighty eight into sixteen. In kar ya multiply, Jimbo. You will get the product. Three thousand eight. इनी point अवधा place यानन ना रहेन multiplicand लो point ने शेषम दोन्ड digit आने लगता eight eight one two. Okay, so product चलोम decimal places ने शेषम decimal point ने शेषम दोन्ड digit टे आना. Okay, so इवडन मोडल count यां from right. So eight zero. If uh, you can put decimal place here. So answer will be thirty point zero eight. Should be sixteen point three two into eight. So here also first 
find the product of 1632 16.32 you can write without decimal point that is 1632 into 8 the answer will be 13056 okay so what will be 16.32 into 8 here in the multiplicand two decimal places are coming so in the product also two decimal places should come so 13056 you can count from right side so one two decimal place will come here so the answer is 130.56 next is c 41.08 into 32 so first find the product of 4108 into 32 okay on multiplying you will get 1 lakh 31456 so what will be 41.08 into 32 in the multiplicand after decimal point two places are coming Okay, multiplicand has two decimal places. So, product also should contain two decimal places. So, 1,31,456. You can count from here, right? So, 1, 2. The decimal point will come here. So, the answer is 1,314.56. Next, D, 4.032 into 85. So, first find the product of 4032 into 85. Okay. On multiplying you will get 3,42,720. So, what will be 4.032 into 85? Here in the multiplicand, 3 decimal places are coming. 1, 2, 3 after point okay so in the product also three decimal places should come so you can count from right side one two three so the answer will be 342.720 next e 0.47 into 375 so first Find the product of 047. 047 means it is 47. Okay, if 0 is placed before a number means that 0 has no value. 047, it is equal to 47 into 375. So, 47 into 375, it is 17,625. Okay, so what will be 0 0.47 into 375? In the multiplicand, two decimal places are coming. <clears throat> so in the product also, two decimal places should come. So 17,625. Counting from right side, 1, 2. Point will come here. 176.25 is the answer. Next, G, 0 0.4262 into 11. So, for 0 0.4262 you can write as 4262. Because if you write the 0 0.4262 together, this 0 before the number, it has no value. 0 0.4262, it is same as 4262. Okay. So, 4,262 into 11, you will get 46,882. So, what will be 0 0.4262 into 11? In the multiplicand, there are 4 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in the product also, 4 decimal places should be there. So, counting from right side, 1, 2, 3, 4. Decimal point will come here. 4.6882 is the answer. Next topic. 
multiplication of a decimal fraction by a decimal fraction that is multiplication of two decimal fractions okay so second question find the product in that a 18.4 into 0 0.12 so here you can see this is 18.4 is the multiplicand okay and 0 0.12 is the multiplier so first step is find the product of 184 without decimal point you can write the multiplicand and the multiplier so you will get 18.4 you can write as 184 into 0 012 writing together 0 012 it is 1 12 only okay so 184 into 12 you will get the product 2208 okay so 1.84 into 0.12 here in the multiplicand there are there is one decimal place in the multiplier there are two decimal place so in the product there will be one plus two three decimal places should be there that is the total number of decimal places in the multiplicand and the multiplier together Okay, here one decimal, pla one decimal place, sorry here point is coming here, 18.4. Here in the multiplicand, there is one decimal place. In the multipli uh, multiplier, there are two decimal place. So in the product, there should be 1 plus 2, 3 decimal places should be there. So 2208. You can start counting from right 1, 2, 3. Here the decimal point will come. So the answer is 2.208. Okay. If you are multiplying two decimal fractions, the product should contain the total number of decimal places in the multiplicand and the multiplier together. Render decimal fractions multiply jimbo. Multiplicand link multiplier in the decimal places in the sum or total under the three decimal places a product will be okay this should be 0 0.3146 into 0 0.05 so first write the decimal fractions without decimal point so here 0 0,3146 means it is 3,146 okay into 0, 0, 005 0, 0, 005 it means 5 if a zeros are coming before a digit means that zero has no value that's why okay so 3146 into 5 finding the product you will get 15730 so 0 0.3146 into 0 0.05 here in the multiplicand, this is the multiplicand, it has 4 decimal places. In the multiplier, there are 2 decimal places. So in the product, there should be 4 plus 2, 6 decimal places. Okay, product should contain the total number of decimal places in the multiplicand and multiplier together. So here... 15730 counting from right side you will get 1 2 3 4 5 so only 5 dec uh, five digits are coming after decimal places so you can put in order to make it 6 you can put 0 before ok now you can put point here before this again you can write 0 in the whole number part, no number is coming or no digit are coming. So, you can put 0. So, the answer is 0 0.015730. Now, there are 6 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 decimal places in the product. Okay. Next is C. 1.32 into 0 0.0008. So, 1.32 you can write as 132 without decimal point 
it will be 132 into 0 0.0008 if you are writing without decimal place means 0 0.0008 that means it is 8 itself okay 132 into 8 the product you find first you will get 1056 okay so what will be 1.32 into 0 0.0008 here in the multiplicand, there are two decimal places. In the multiplier, there are four decimal places. So in the product, there should be two plus four, six decimal places should be there. Okay, so 1056. Here only four. One, two, three, four. So in order to make it six, you can put two zeros before. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now there are 6 digits after decimal point. Okay. Before decimal point, in the whole number part, you can put 0. Because no digit is coming. So the answer is 0 0.001056. Even 4 digits in Amka Kitty 1056. Only 4 digits. Are 4 digits in a and the decimal point in the share but we need six des six digits. So six don't put on the right side. Zero is right side the left side. How digits are there? digits are there? Zero is left side. Okay, remaining. If you have four, remaining two needed. So our two zeros are left side. Whole number part lo no digit or uh, digit varathonda you can put zero. So zero point zero zero one zero five six is the answer. Next D zero point zero zero four into zero point zero six four. So you can write a multiplicand and a multiplier without decimal point. Zero 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 four means it is four into zero zero six four means it is sixty four. So four into sixty four you will get 256. Okay. So what will be 0 0.004 into 0 0.064? In the multiplicand, there are three decimal places. In the multiplier, there are three decimal places. So in the product, there will be 3 plus 3, 6 decimal places. Okay. So here 256. Only three digits are coming. So, in order to make it 6, you need to put 3 zeros before left side. Okay. So, you will get 0, 0, 0, 2, 5, 6. Now, there are 6 digits or 6 places after decimal point. Okay. Before decimal point also, you can put 0. So, you, you will get 0 0.000256. This is the answer. Next to E, 1.18 into 0 0.46 into 0 0.07. So here three decimal fractions are coming and we do the same method as we did for two decimal fractions. Okay. First, write the decimal fractions without decimal point. So 1.18 you can write as 180 into 0 0.46 you can write as 46 into 0 0.07 it is 7. Okay. First find the product of 118 into 46 into 7. You will get 37,996. So what will be 1.18 into 0 0.46 into 0 0.07. Here in 1.18 two decimal places are coming. In 0 0.46 also two decimal places are coming. In 0 0.07 also, two decimal places are coming. So, in the product, this total of 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is, 6 decimal places should come in the product. Okay. So, 3, 7, 9, 9, 6. Here only 5. So, what to do? Before this number, you can write, put one zero. So, 0, 3, 7, 9, 9, 6. Here only in 37,996, only 5 digits are there. So in order to make it 6 digits, 
you can put zero before the number. Okay, don't put after. Now zero three seven nine nine six six decimal places are there. So before this you can put decimal point. Okay, now here in the whole number part you can put zero. So the answer is zero point zero three seven nine nine six. Next to H. 0.03 into 0.03 into 0.03. So first write the decimal fractions without decimal point. So you will get 0.03 means it is 3 into 3 into 3. Okay, you will get 27. So what will be 0.03 into 0.03 into 0.03? Here. In the first number, first decimal fraction, two decimal places. Second also two. Third also two. So in the product, two plus two plus two. That is six decimal places should come. But in the product only two digits, two and seven. So in order to make six digits after decimal point, you can put four zeros. Before twenty-seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you got six digits after decimal point. Okay, zero point zero. Here you can write zero before decimal point in the whole number part. You can put zero. So the answer is zero point zero 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 two seven. Okay, so this is the answer. Meaning problems of question one and two do as homework. So this much for this class. Thank you.